Hey colonizers, it's your boy Curly Daddy 101 here, and today we're looking at Modern Warrior and your favorite guy's beef. Modern Warrior is a Native American um, influencer, and he often starts his videos with "Hey colonizer," referring to white peeps. And um, he often makes videos tearing people down and making uh, po po political statements, things like that. Your favorite guy is a guy that faked his death for TikTok views a few months ago. And he makes monkey explanation videos where he tries to stitch people and duet saying, trying to simplify things down into a monkey-like way. Anyways, um, if you guys can't tell... Modern Warrior and your favorite guy are on complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Modern Warrior obviously being very left-leaning and uh, very hostile. Your favorite guy being very right-leaning and pretty hostile as well. So this was um, a this was a travesty waiting to happen. We're going to look through both of their TikToks. We're going to... Um, watch their videos reacting to each other's. I'll give my reaction, and we'll just get into it. So, it all started with a video from your favorite guy. So we'll check it out. Here we go. Um, so there was a reply to a comment saying, I'm punching up, there's a big difference. That, that got pretty, uh... A lot of views and modern warrior replied to this video and this was the original video that modern warrior left a comment on a lot of white allies and accomplices ask how can they support black and indigenous people of color and sometimes i really don't know what to say but here's one easy way just don't have babies hey Lance, quick question have you tried respecting white people just shoot i wouldn't respect them Dirty son of a gun. Based on my observations, it seems like you're being a little bit of a hypocrite. And I'm finding it very difficult to stay quiet about this because you have an influence over 3 million people. So I'd like to invite you to stop these hypocritical, anti-white behaviors. You're setting a bad example. So, a lot of then Modern Warrior commented, I'm punching up. If you don't know what punching up is... Punching down is when you're making fun of somebody that is supposedly beneath you in class or something of that nature. I think in this instance, he's referring to race. Modern Warrior is referring to race. Um, so he's punching up at the superior race while we're punching down at the less superior. No, disagree with that statement. Um, so uh, your favorite guy makes a video saying his uh, rhetoric is anti-white. And that is true for some of his videos. Uh, but honestly, I don't think Modern Warrior is trying to be anti-white necessarily. I do think his intentions are to uplift people of the indigenous community. However, I think um, the problem is, is that Modern Warrior is just so lost in the TikTok world that he doesn't know how to uplift other people without punching others down anyways ironically modern warrior is the person punching people so let's listen to the response hey lance this comment's no excuse for your anti-white behaviors and let me first say i agree with you you are punching up there's a huge difference in the power of each side but you can't beat fire with fire you're honestly just adding to the flames not only on the post where you said white people should not produce, but on 90% of your page. You claim you're an activist, you claim you educate people, but all I see on your content is fighting. All I see is hate from both sides. I would like to ask you to stop fanning the flames. I understand that you're standing up for yourself and you have the entire right to do so, but your content is race baiting. And I'm finding it very hard to give you respect because you harbor one of the most negative communities on TikTok. I wish that some other indigenous creators on this app had the platform that you have because they actually use their content to educate and change people's minds. I promise that if you cut out all negativity from your content, people would listen to you. People would change their minds. If you, if you cut out all negativity from your content, then Modern Warrior wouldn't get any views. 
just saying. Let's listen to the response. I'll go live with your favorite guy after I after I talk. Hey Lance. Hey Colin. This moment no excuse for your anti white behaviors. And let me first say, I agree with you. You are punching up. There is a huge difference in the power of each side. But you can't beat fire with fire. When you say anti white rhetoric, are you referring to reverse racism? If so, reverse racism is a myth. You see, there are assumptions and stereotypes about white people that's called racial prejudice, not racism. Some example of racial prejudice for white people is white people can't dance or white people can't season their food. This is not racism because of the systemic relationship to power. When it's backed with power and privilege, then this results in discrimination and oppression of groups or individuals. And when you oh say fight fire, and when you say fight fire with fire, you do realize white people started it, right? You're honestly just adding to the. F so that was. Oh wait. Oh shoot. This is a three-minute video. Not only on the post where you said white people should not produce, but on ninety percent of your page. It's really funny that a lot of folks similar to you reacted similarly, but will stay quiet when undocumented women were forced to be sterilized in ICE detention centers from 2018 to 2020. What, is that? what does that have to do with anything? Okay, sorry. All I see is hate from both sides. So my question to you is, then why am I the only one receiving this address? Why are you not making efforts to address your white peers who are blatantly racist to me and the indigenous community? Because from how I see it, you're addressing me in order to shield them. That's pathetic. I would like to ask you to stop banning the flame. So you're saying it's okay for white racist individuals to attack me all day long, only if I turn a cheek and smile. I understand that you're standing up for yourself and you have the entire right to do so, but your content is race baiting. What you're doing now is tone policing me. You're giving me permission to defend myself only if I don't hurt your feelings. You have absolutely no right to tell me what is or is not offensive to me or other black indigenous people of color. Yeah, I mean, being offended, I mean, the only person that can tell you what offends you is yourself. And uh, obviously this guy gets offended by a lot. I mean, we live in a culture where people, most people get offended by really anything. If people feel offended, they feel offended. That's just is what it is. It's not race baiting to stand up against insensitive actions and words. And I'm finding it very hard to give you respect because you harbor one of the most negative communities on TikTok. I don't understand why you think it is I'm trying to gain your respect. And the only way to do that is if I play by the terms that you set. I wish that some other indigenous creators on this app had the platform that you have because they actually use their content to educate and change people's minds. So you don't think I belong here? I'm not here to entertain you. Have hey Lance. Okay. When you say anti-white rhetoric, are you referring to reverse racism? Hey Lance. No, when I said that, I was referring to your many racist remarks towards white people. In particular, the video where you say that white people should not reproduce or have babies. Lance, I made a very polite video telling you how that was not okay. But in your response, you strawmanned and deflected my entire argument. You said I was tone policing you. Lance, calling out hateful behavior is not tone policing. I am honestly tired of you perpetuating hate, racism, and a very toxic community on your page. In my opinion, someone who claims to be an activist and claims to fight racism, but who also supports eugenics should not have the platform that you have. You live in a bubble. You could be using your platform for so much. You could show people how beautiful your culture is. You could show people the history and the racism you experience. But instead, you choose drama and you choose to perpetuate hate because it gets you- Bro, drama and hate, it gets views. So of course, Modern Warrior is gonna be dramatic and hateful. It just is what it is. I don't know what people expect. Did people expect anything less? Two more months. I don't know. Modern warrior, or as many like to refer to as modern racist. Hey, colonizer. 
You know, when I hear a white person call any black indigenous person of color a racist, I get very strange vibes from them. In the past 36 hours or so, you've made about eight posts about me. And I know what you're doing. It's called sea lioning. Well, you've made three posts, so I think you're walrusing. No, okay. Pause to read. You say that I hate white people, when in reality, I'm standing up for myself and my community against racist, ignorant, bigoted individuals. If you equate racist, ignorant, bigoted individuals to all white people, you are the problem. You are the living embodiment of white supremacy. In a... With the mop head. Okay, there it is. There's the insulting the looks. That's what we were waiting for. There it is. Way to comment on a guy's looks. Very mature of you, modern warrior. You. You pervert. I'm not calling you a white supremacist. I'm saying white supremacy is betting fitting you because you, a 12 year old boy, told me, an indigenous man, how I should react when I experience racism. Now I gotta go. It's Oppo's birthday. Here's a photo. Yeah, I don't care. All right. Next! You are the living embodiment of white supremacy. With the mop head. Do this beefing with a 16-year-old boy and losing. He can't. He doesn't have anything to say, so he just makes fun of how I look. It's about the equivalent of saying your mom in an argument. <laughs> just because you say I'm something doesn't make me one. And it's pretty late, so I'm going to make, like, a real response tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, guys. I think that's everything. Isn't he cute? Yep, that's everything. Thank you guys the whole beef. Summed up. Apparently a little detour to Aunt Karen. I don't mess with Aunt Karen. When I do mess with Aunt Karen, I get swatted. So I don't want to do that. Um, anyways, so that's the beef presented to you. You've seen all the videos. You can form your own opinions. I think it's pretty stupid, personally. Um, but hey, it's drama, so I'll cover it. But, uh, yeah. Pretty crazy. <laughs>